video, we're going to be solving equations. But we're going to be solving equations that have more than one variable. So we're going to be practicing isolating one variable. So here we're going to be solving these literal equations for y. So our first example says y minus 2x equals 15. So again, we're trying to get our y by itself. So we move our 2x, so we'll add 2x to both sides. So we're doing that inverse operation. That cancels those x's out. So we have y equals, now 15 does not have an x, but the 2x does. So we know that those cannot go together. The best they can do is sit side by side. So we had a positive 2x and we had a positive 15. So here we see that the y is by itself and we're done. Let's look at our next, next example. Here we have 5x minus 2 equals 8 plus 5y. And again, we're trying to get the y by itself. So we're going to begin by getting rid of our 8. So we're going to subtract, because that's the inverse operation that allows us to move it. And that's going to leave us with 5x minus 10 equals 5y. So now we need to get the 5 away from the y. Right now, our 5 is multiplying with the y. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we will divide everything by 5. And that's going to give us y equals 5 divided by 5 is a 1, so x. And a negative 10 divided by 5 is a negative 2. And now we see that our y is by itself, and we're done. Let's do one more. So this time, we're going to solve the literal equation q equals 3x plus 9xz for x. So we want to get the x by itself. So as we look at this, we can see that we have two terms. Here's a term, and here's a term. And each of them have an x in that term. So we can factor out the x. So we're going to factor out or pull it out. So we'll pull that x out. So now, oops, so now we're going to have q equals, remember we're pulling out the x, and we're left with inside a 3 plus a 9z. Remember, we're trying to get that x by itself. So we need to separate the x from the 3 plus 9z. And right now, they are multiplying. And the inverse operation for multiplying is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 plus 9z. We're going to divide everything by 3 plus 9z, but the only thing on the left side is the q. So that's going to allow these to cancel out. And that's going to leave us with x equaling the q divided by that 3 plus 9z, and that is our final answer.